Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am making this video for my Mixed Media Girl channel, but I will also be posting it on my other YouTube channel, which is called The Business of Art. And for those who don't know, The Business of Art is the channel that I have designated for my videos that are about the business of art. How to price your art, how to photograph your art, how to ship your art, where to sell your art, how to set up a Facebook page, how to set up your own website, all of this stuff. I've designated for that channel because not everybody on Mixed Media Girl is interested in that. So this video will be not only on Mixed Media Girl, it's also going to be on the business of art. And if you're interested in more such videos, make sure you are following the business of art channel. Link will be in the description. So today I want to talk to you about selling art. Then a couple really common questions that I get. One is, do you have to use gallery wrapped canvas or, you know, the best paints to sell your art? And the answer is absolutely not. There are people that literally make art out of trash and they sell that. There are people that sell a banana taped to a, a canvas or whatever, and they sell that. Do you think that these things are going to last for a million years? No. Do you want to be honest with your customer about what you're selling? Of course, of course you do, but you don't have to have the most expensive materials. You don't have to do any of that. So I just wanted to make this video to be really clear about that. You should just sell your art. You don't have to get to this certain level of quality of materials. Now, if you are using these higher quality materials, you can absolutely charge more than if you're using lower quality materials. Which brings me to the next topic of how do you price your art? This is another really common question and there's no one way to do it, but a few things that you absolutely have to take into consideration are one, the materials. How much did you spend on the materials? That's your first thing. You wanna make sure you're making more than you spent on the materials. Two, how long did the piece take you? You wanna pay yourself for your time. Three, how large is the piece? Because even something that caught, took the same amount of time, if it's a two inch by two inch canvas versus a two foot by two foot canvas, you can absolutely charge more for the larger canvas. Even if there's not much of a materials difference, you can charge a considerable amount more. So how large is the piece is another factor. Um, four is how long have you been doing your art? Now. Someone brand new can charge a million dollars for a painting, absolutely. But if you have quite a few sales under your belt, if you've been doing it for a long time, that absolutely helps so that you can increase your prices and charge more than generally someone starting out. So if you're just starting out, you shouldn't necessarily compare your prices to someone who is well established. Being established and having a recognizable name, absolutely you can charge more for your art. That's kind of a tricky one because that's not to say that when you're new, you should charge nothing for your art. That doesn't mean that at all. And lastly, I look at where do you live and uh, basically how much, what's your cost of living? You know, how much money do you need to make? Because that's absolutely a factor. If you don't need to make money from your art and it's not that big of a deal, you're probably going to charge less. If you live in a very expensive city and you kind of need this for your survival, you should absolutely be factoring that in to the price of your art. And that shouldn't be the sole factor, of course, but that's that's something that definitely should go into there of, I, I need to make this amount of money, so I'm gonna get my art up to that quality of being able to charge this much for my paintings. The last kind of hidden factor that I look at is how much do I personally like the piece. <laughs> if I absolutely love it so much and I don't really want to part with it, I'll generally charge a little bit more than if I'm like, well, I like that piece, but it's not my favorite. You know what I mean? So I, I've just seen a lot of questions recently about how do you price your art and do I have to have the best materials to sell my art and things like that. So I hope this helps dispel some of those myths and just know that you don't 
need any like superior high quality materials. You don't have to have been doing it for a very long time to sell your art. And you should just start with a price point and then go from there. Whether you need to raise your prices, lower your prices, you can absolutely adjust them. Just get started with a price point and go from there and jump in, just dive in. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it so much. I will tell you something. If your art is not selling, probably more likely than not, it's actually underpriced than overpriced. Yes, it can be overpriced, but a lot of times it's actually underpriced. People will say, I'm charging only $20 for this 16 by 20 painting. Why is nobody buying it? Well, it's because it's only $20. A lot of times people will be like, well, that's not really worth much because it's only $20. Yeah, it could be an absolutely horrible painting. That That is potentially a factor. But try actually raising the price and that may actually help you to get more sales. Don't discount your price. Know what you're worth. Know what your art is worth and have fun. All right, hopefully this was helpful. I'll see you all next time.